What's going on world? It's your man Pat Caesar, Caesar LLC, mobile mechanic and roadside services. And this video is five reasons up until this point I have avoided the motor clubs. Oh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Number one, I actually like full retail. So when you work with the motor clubs, you're not going to get that. So let's just say a tire change on the street would cost you 80 to to $100. If you work with the motor club, they're going to try to give you maybe 20 to $30. And then that 50 to what's that 50 to $80 difference is made up in profit for them while you go do the work and have the insurance and all that other stuff that goes with it. So I like to get full retail. I want a hundred percent of a grape instead of a small percent of a watermelon, which could be intuitive. Well, you see Samson in the background. I don't want to run Samson to the ground. So I have significantly less value, right? But I do make more per transaction. So instead of me making 20, let's just say $50 tolls, right? And let's just say this $50 toll takes me one hour and I do three of those a day. That's 150 for three hours worth of work, right? But I can do one tow retail for 150, no hookup, you know, or just, just one flat fee and make that in one hour. So it's less volume and I don't get to have to put all the miles and stuff on my truck, but I'll also make more per single transaction. That's essentially what that is three so listen i don't like the wear and tear aspect of it i've put a ton of money into this truck i mean a ton of money now the sad part is y'all out there can't see you know the thirty-five thousand dollars that's inside of a you know eight thousand dollar truck but is this there it's definitely there my bank account proves it i have the receipts so whether it was financially smart or not the thing is because i have so much invested i don't want to wear it down so fast now i'd be different if i had a brand new truck you know maybe and you know, i could put a lot of miles on it and not have to worry about anything because it's under warranty but this is far beyond any warranty is going to extend it so that's essentially all falling on on me so why i have avoided them is i don't want to put the extra wear and tear on it so i have to start all over again in a very short period of time keep it right keep it tight do less make more everybody's happy kind of kind of <laughs> four more control over my time so when you're with a motor club you know i got i got people that i know who's with them and i know people who win completely with them so don't don't get it twisted i'm not knocking them i'm i'm saying they're not it's not that they're not your friend but they have to make a profit too so you know that's where it kind of the line gets blurry but um you know i i like control over my time i have friends who have who run motor clubs they, they their phone blows up all day long you know and they're cheap they're, they're cheap so i mean they might be doing the the 20 tire changes and such like that and there's nothing wrong with it if you're doing the volume play i'm not trying to make it up on volume uh but i can control my time better like that because instead of me getting calls all day to do my new jobs i just cherry pick what i want from what i have now and like i say essentially work less work smarter and not necessarily harder but i can control my time one two three four five cinco so last tip, man, um, and the five reasons I have avoided motor clubs is simply because I didn't want to get built up for the letdown. And let me explain the story. In 2019, Geico was blowing up my phone. I made a, I made a killing off of their calls and I'm not contracted with them. And then one day it just stopped. I mean, cold turkey just stopped. What I realized is that they found somebody to be contracted in the area. And I did actually try to get contracted with them. That was one of the only motor clubs I did consider only because I'm like, man, they feeding me so good. But then it just stopped. And then I asked around a couple of the people and this, this seems to be a happen. If another service provider comes in your area and does it for cheaper than you, then they can get moved up top of that list that they, they call from. So, you know, you can get set up for a letdown if you're really putting all your eggs in just one basket. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope it brought some value to your life. This is the five reasons why I have avoided the motor clubs like the plague. And I say have because I coming into the next year, <clears throat> I will be working with a couple of them on some 
uh different bases we'll get into that once the contracts are all drawn up and i'll explain my experience with it as this go along so if you want to watch a journey you want to get a different perspective somebody who's telling y'all nothing but the truth the whole truth nothing but the truth then y'all stay tuned all right we'll catch y'all on the next one until okay. then mi gente be promoto beneficio siempre mm. <laughs>